My name is Arieris. I was uh, born in Ames, Iowa, and I'm going to the University of Texas School of Law, where it's my last year. I'm a 3L, graduating this May. It's interesting because I was always interested in science and math as a kid, but once I got into college, I discovered that I really didn't like those classes as much. And uh, I guess once you get out of the grand abstract ideas and start getting into the nitty gritty, it just got boring for me. So I went a different route. It's really amazing the kind of uh, opportunity that the, that the degree gives you. The law school gives you a lot of opportunities and they uh, connect you directly with employers and it was very little trouble comparatively to, uh, to find work there. So my degrees helped me immensely. My high school was very small. Uh, my graduating class was only 70 people. I did swimming in high school, which I think was great because, you know, it's, it's very good exercise. And uh, nowadays I don't do that, but uh, I, I lift weights about four times a week. And uh, just that, that's the only real sport that I did in high school, and I didn't choose to pursue it afterwards. One of the things that I didn't realize coming into college was uh, how hard it is to leave your family behind. Uh, I know that's not true of everyone, but I'm now in a different country than my parents. We grew up in the U.S., but they retired to Greece when I went to college. And not having any, being in a completely new town, I mean, you make friends quickly, but you, you do miss certain aspects of your old life, and I hadn't really looked at that potential downside. Now I only see my parents twice a year and you know it's hard to have your relationship keep developing because every time you go home you know you're only home for four weeks out of a year out of the year and every time it's like you pick up where you left off so in real time it's like I'm still 20 when I'm actually 26 uh, in terms of home time. It, it's much more whatever your expectations are. In terms of academic expectations, you're just not in class anywhere near as much. You only have a few hours a day as opposed to being in school all day like you are in high school. And the rest of the time, it's just whatever you want to put into it. And just the fact that you're in an institution that's, you know, at UT 40,000 undergraduates or whatever it is now, you just have a much larger range of interests, a much more specific niche you can find for yourself uh, for pursuing extracurricular type of things. And just a lot more freedom. One thing is the college gives you a much wider, a much greater degree of freedom, a much greater latitude to, to do whatever you want. Like, for example, uh, when I came to college, even though uh, I wasn't necessarily that interested in acting or anything, I just found a bunch of great friends who were really into it. And so I, I, I was in a play and I just got to experience that. And that's the kind of thing I never would have even thought to do in high school because you just meet so many people who are, uh, who are unique in their own way. And uh, I don't know, in high school, uh, I wasn't really part of the popular crowd, but once I got to college, I found out that didn't matter because there are thousands of people around and there are people who share your interests and you make great friends. And uh, having, having gone to a smaller high school, it was really great to get out there and broaden my horizons. But the thing about college towns, they're usually medium-sized cities that have a very young uh, population. And uh, there's just a lot to do. There's, you know, coffee shops that are open late at night. There's uh, uh, just a very vibrant and intellectual atmosphere in a, in a college town, in a college city that you, I mean, I imagine wouldn't necessarily find to the same degree uh, in other places. So I'd like to give a shout out to Stephen Delacroix. He was a great professor. I had him for uh, European history, American history, and most importantly, theory of knowledge. Uh, and the reason is that he uh, really encouraged discussion and debate. He had a Socratic method, and uh, he was very challenging. He didn't let you get away with any nonsense. 
he would really call you out on it and, and really make you defend what you believed and what you thought. And uh, I changed more than a couple opinions because of the discussions I had in that class. And that's one thing you have to be prepared for is to change your opinions when you get to college because you'll see that a lot of what you might have thought before, you just didn't know anything about it. One time there was this professor who uh, I, I said some things or, that I thought were very offensive and uh, I, I had a very serious dispute with him and I just got out of the class. And uh, that was a pretty extreme situation. It was. I think he brought his politics into class a little bit too much, and I wasn't going to let him sit there and, and say things that I thought were untrue and, and lies, and I called him out on it, and he didn't appreciate that. But uh, I talked with the director of my major, uh, and everything was very respectful and serious and sincere, and I just got out of the class. I mean, it was halfway through. I had to make it up by taking a different class, but other than that, there weren't any negative repercussions, so it's much easier to define your relationship with your professor? Uh, I would not put too much emphasis on going to an extremely prestigious college. Uh, I mean, obviously get into the best college you can within your means, but if you do an outstanding job at a state college, you'll be fine, and you'll have, I think, probably better opportunities than someone who doesn't do a great job at a prestigious college. I think that you shouldn't underestimate, you know, little things like if you want to be close to your family, if you want to be in a good climate, if you want to, uh, if you want to not have a huge debt burden, a state college is, is a great place to go. And I mean, don't sell yourself short. I mean, I mean, go for whatever you can get, but don't be disappointed if you can't get into one of the Ivy Leagues.